some stops. Our, our D was good tonight. So we got to make sure I remember this video, dog. It's too far into the season to allow two losses back to back. If you agree with that, how important is This video ain't aging well right now. But it starts with the D. <laughs> this video is not aging well right now simply because we know how he feel about the D. We know how he feel about the D now. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dry Lot of Bays. <sighs> I'm gonna try something different today. <sighs> okay. The moment you become a light, you have to be wary of the people that are chasing their shadows. I say that because the internet has created a place for people with no talent. These people don't care who they hurt. They don't care about you. They don't care about your family. For example, this Dwight Howard situation. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've heard stories about Dwight. I've heard stories that Dwight was crossing the street. And to be honest with you, I thought they were lies. And to be even more honest with you, I didn't care because it's none of my business. I feel as though the things that destroy celebrities' careers are none of our business. I don't care if Dwight is busting cheeks behind closed doors. But here we are. Here we are in 2023 and Dwight is getting exposed. First and last time I'll ever address this. I would never expose a man or intentionally ruin someone's career, which is why I haven't publicly spoke about this until now. With all due respect, Kitty is an older, unattractive person in their 40s. I was into me being at Dwight Howard's home. He ambushed me with this person. Dwight never showed me pictures of Kitty nor disclosed their agenda. Kitty walked in with a full beard, two-inch heels, and a 28-piece church wig. <laughs> Immediately, I was thrown off. Uncomfortable and expressed that I wanted to leave. Shortly after, Dwight forced himself onto me. Dwight! Dwight out here playing them prison games. Then demanded that Kitty drop me off instead of me calling an Uber to his home. The situation was truly traumatic and has affected me in many ways. Out of fear and intimidation, I did not speak. However, I would not sit back and allow lies to be told about me. I was not Dwight Howard's first victim, but hopefully I'm his last. Dwight Howard, an NBA player who has made millions of dollars and can clap any cheeks he want, forced himself upon you. I don't want to seem like I'm victim shaming. Not at all. But these situations scare me. Have you ever heard of Sydney Starr? Have you ever heard about Chingy? Sydney Starr took a picture with Chingy and started a rumor that Chingy was busting them cheeks. Chingy's career was not the same after that. Chingy's career was not the same after that. And this is why it's scary. I don't want to misgender nobody because I ain't trying to get canceled. I ain't trying to get none of that. Because that's another thing about the internet, you will get canceled. You just really gotta be careful. You gotta be careful who you open yourself up to. Now we all gonna sit here and, and try to make fun of Dwight Howard for being gay because he's Dwight Howard, right? But let's be honest. Let's stick to the facts. It's really none of our business. The reason why my opinion is where it's at on this situation is because if it was such a problem, we'd have been reading about Dwight being in cuffs. Okay? So if Dwight not in cuffs, you just cloud chasing. If it was that traumatic, you... See, I was finna say something. I was, I was finna say you was a grown ass man. Um, you grown. You grown enough to walk into the police station and press charges. If not, you just cloud chasing. That's how I feel. Before people pick up the phone and call 911... They'll pick up the phone and press record. 
they'll go on their Instagram story and make this the, the most heartfelt exposed posts. It's one of the reasons, bro, I don't want to get too big on YouTube, to be 100% honest with you. I don't know what that entails. I'm happy to make just enough money right now to take care of my family, take care of my bills, and really, to be honest with you, I enjoy just coming and talking to y'all because to me, I feel like I'm talking to a group of friends. So I enjoy doing this. It takes it took a lot of hard work just to get here. Now, I'm not as big as a lot of other motherfuckers, but I'm grateful. But imagine just as hard as it took me to get here, some motherfucker that's probably working just as hard to get me up out of here. Who job bless no man can curse. Mm, say that. Mm. Yeah, you know the one I was recording? No man can curse. The one I was recording before I actually messed up. Really? How I messed up? The volume. Oh, wow. And the redo. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we came to the end of the video. Um. I wasn't expecting it to end this way. I had a few more things I wanted to say, but in conclusion, man, be very careful. You know, um, I'm not saying that because somebody's a celebrity, they can't be a predator. I'm not saying that at all. I just feel as though it's a lot of people out here that are willing to go to any sort of lengths to have their five minutes of fame, and you have to be wary of that. It don't matter what it is, man. Sometimes people in your immediate circle can be trying to chase their own shadows. You have to pay attention to things. I'm not the type of person who say, yo, I got haters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't believe in that. But at the same time, as an, as an adult, <laughs> I've been through certain situations that I feel as though maybe people were throwing shade. You know, maybe somebody was trying to throw a little too much salt in my, in my food. I'm starting to pay more attention to certain things. You have to. You, you simply have to. You can't be yourself around everybody. You, you can't. You can't give everybody inside information on you. Because you got to deal with it. Like You, you got to deal with people like you're dealing with the police. You feel me? What you say can and will be used against you. Anything you say or do in this situation can and will be used against you. To be quite honest with you, if Dwight had came out on his little Nas X, this wouldn't hold no weight. This is simply a, a tactic that I believe, you know, they know secret about somebody and now they're trying to expose him. That's how I feel about it. This is my opinion. My opinion can be wrong. I am allowed to have an opinion. It's like the Kevin Hart situation. I remember back in the day, Kevin Hart, one of his friends tried to expose him because he was busting some cheeks. Some female cheeks in Vegas. And he just came out and was like, nah, you're not finna you're not about to blackmail me. You're not about to blackmail me. So he just came out and told the truth. Yeah, that's me in the video. That's me doing what I do best. I feel as though, man, in a situation like this, you gotta face it head on, man. You know you like boy poom poom, then hey man, that's on you. You feel what I'm saying? That's on you. You you like you like playing baseball, that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with playing baseball, dog. Everybody got their thing. That's not particularly for me, but everybody got their thing. But anyway, man, this is the video, guys.